Boom, I'm in the room. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome, or good morning, or good evening. <laughs> Depends on where you're watching from. Or good night. <laughs> now, today, uh, I'm going to take you through this new drug that I'm on. Most of you know that I've got rheumatoid arthritis, and if if you've not if you don't know much about rheumatoid arthritis, it's bloody painful. But before we get into all of that, you're here because there's nothing on the telly. Now I haven't I, I haven't had a chance to catch up with the Grand National today, so I don't know what the result is. So. I shall uh, try and watch it back on catch up. But I'm coming to you live from the old Hill Manor and I'm your host, Lord Hill. Now, before we get going, rheumatoid arthritis. Let me tell you a little bit about rheumatoid arthritis because I've had it for a while now. And what it does, essentially, it's inflammation of the joints and they've got mine sort of under control i get flares rheumatoid flares and when it flares the pain goes from bloody painful to excruciating and for me what i do is i, I do, the only thing that works for me is brufen Ifibrufen, and I get the big ones, the 400s, and I need to take at least a couple of those. Uh, and with those, I take a Lamprosol, which is the one that protects the, the the guts. But I I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis maybe 10 years or so ago, something like that. And they started us off on what they call methotrexate. Now, methotrexate is a dodgy old drug. It's not good for everybody, but it for me, it, um, it, it kind of worked. It got my rheumatoid under control initially. The problem with, with the, the methotrexate is you have to have blood tests every week. And they adjust the dose every week because of um, it, 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 it's not good for your, your liver and uh, some other bits and pieces, your know, intestines and all the rest of it. So you have to be monitored constantly while you're on this methotrexate and they adjust the dose. So I was on that for a couple of years, felt like a pincushion, having blood tests every week um, or every other week it went to, and, and they started to reduce the dosage down a bit just to get it right, to just get it under control couple of three years in um, they started us on another drug called leflunamide and it's just one little pill every day and that was done with uh, alongside the methotrexate and then they started to wean me off the met methotrexate and that kind of got it under control it, it, it kept it at bay most of the time I mean there's always pain don't get me wrong all, all my joints are uh, all the time you live with it you learn to live with it it's, it's it's just one of those things it's like having tinnitus you just have to try and live with it but when you get a, a, a rheumatoid flare jesus it's painful but it moves around quite a bit it, it, it i've had it in the hands i've had it in the in the wrists i've had it in the knees i've had it in the hips i've had it in the shoulders there's no telling where it'll pop up next when you have a flare. And the only thing that I found that, that sorts it out is popping a few brufen over a couple of days uh, that, that takes down the inflammation and hey, Bob's your uncle, funny's your aunt. Now, just recently, um, or oh, what they did do uh, about three years ago, we stopped it for a year and it came back. And it came back with a little bit of a vengeance. So they started me back on the Luflutamide. So I've been on that for a couple of years now. And we've got it. I mean, it's, I still get flares, but not quite as regular. But I still got all the pain there. 
it's still painful all the time. So I had a review um, a couple of months ago with the, the specialist, um, the, the senior doctor, mister. Um, he said they've got this new drug that they've, they've cleared now because it's gone through all the clinical trials. Um, would you like to get on that? And what this new drug does, it puts it into, or hopefully it puts it into remission. It takes a little while. It takes uh, two, two or three months to, to, to properly work and and hopefully what that does, that puts it into remission. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that's what's going to happen. So they, this, 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 this drug, it's called um, uh, Lefluma and it comes in an EpiPen. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you what that entails. But first, they send you out a load of bump. So I'll show you what they send out. There's, there's a pack of stuff that they send out. So this is the pack of stuff. So it comes in this little box. And what you do, you open up the box. Um, and the first thing you get is, uh, where are we? The invoice, a packing list. That, that says what's, what the, they checked it and what's, what they put in it. Then there's a few bits and pieces in there. There's there's this this piece here, and this is uh, a travel card. What you do with this, you you get the the the, the specialist to sign it off. Uh, if you're travelling, and it, it, if you get stopped with your with the the drug, you this will clear you to carry it. So they give you that, and then there's another another bit in here. Um, this card tells you um, patient reminder card. This this tells you um, that you need to take it and stuff like that. So, and it also tells you when not to take it. So, this this drug it's uh, what they call a, a biologic. And if you've got a cold, if you're not feeling yourself, then you shouldn't take it. You should refer to the doctor and all the rest of it. So. There's some do's and don'ts about taking it. Um, so I've done all that. Uh, I feel okay today. So I shall go ahead and take it. Then there's this 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 other form. This this one um, actually uh, how to how do I inject the pre-filled pen? So um, it shows you how the pen looks and all the rest of it. So that gives you the instructions on how to do it. The first one I did, um, I had to do uh, an online session. It took about three quarters an hour or so, and I had a one of the clinical nurses on there taught me through it, went through some checklists and all the rest of it, and then we went through on actually giving it, and then there was a questionnaire after it that uh, just to make sure I was okay. So twenty minutes after it, um, they ended the call. And then it also um, in this box comes this um, handy little where are we get down there um, this living with it and and this this takes you through different things tells you all about the drug the do's and don'ts with it and one thing and another so you read through all of that and and it it tells you what you're expecting each week so. Um, that gives you all the information so that's that's the the pack that comes out um and then a few days later what comes out is um they send the actual drug out now the drug itself uh it comes in an epipen and this epipen um they sent us out three boxes with two epipens in so each of these boxes has got two EpiPens in it. So what they also uh, are sent out, what arrived today is a letter. Now, they, they've asked, this is, this is a letter that they sent out, and it's from the British Society for Rheumatoid Biologic Register for Rheumatoid Arthritis. 
and what it's asking is if I'd be happy to be part of a clinical trial of this drug. So, yeah, I'm going to send all that back and say, yeah, I'm happy with that. So in the meantime, let's get on with it. Let's show you, let's show you the drug itself. So this is the box it comes in. Um, this, this is one of the one of the three boxes that they've sent out. Now it has to be kept in a fridge, uh, and it has to be kept between two and eight Celsius. Now this box um, it contains two epipens. Now. For demonstration purposes, I have put the, the one that I've already taken back in the box. So in the box, what you get is you get two leaflets, um, which gives loads of information on. Then also in the box, you've got your two EpiPens, and then you get two of these um, alcoholic wipes, I think they are. So... Um, I have to wipe the area before I go on and, and do it. So we'll be taking that in a moment. Now, this this is the used pen. So if you have a look at it there, uh, it says La Fluma. And on there contains, that's the actual name of it. Now, <laughs> I haven't got a clue how to pronounce it. Uh, ad adulim num ab <laughs> but also in there it says the, the, the dose that's in there and it also gives the uh, the batch number and um, the expiry date so that's the one that I've already taken and what happens with that once, once, once you've given it, they also give you one of these, a sharp spin. So there you go. There's a sharp spin. So all you do is pop it in a sharp spin once you've done it. And then on the lid, it says, do not close. <laughs> because if you close it, you can't open it again. So once, once you've, you've used, once you've filled it up, they'll come and take it away when they come and deliver because they deliver this stuff um so it's delivered now back to the the actual one itself so there you it there it is now you'll notice the difference between these two this one um is clear now you just get the and you can see the liquid in there so the liquid's in there. What they recommend is that take it out of the, the fridge uh, half an hour, three quarters an hour, an hour before you're going to administer it. So <laughs> I've done that. So that's it ready to go. Now, what you have to do is you take the little wipe and let's uh, let's show you how this is going to work. So this is this is coming to the crux of the matter. So what we do is we just tear this open, pop pop the little wipey thing there, and then uh, let's just get round and and what you have to do then is just clean the area where I'm going to stick it. Now, I don't mind telling you, I'm getting a little bit nervous. <laughs> so, that's that's the area cleaned. Now, I'll take the pen. Now, you notice there's a cap on there, but there's no button on the top. This one's activated by pressing down. So I'm going to stick it about there. Let's just make sure that you can see. So a nice fleshy bit. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Relax. <laughs> now, 
all you gotta do is pull the cap off that's that's the cap so the cap's off it's now armed this is the scary bit this is the this is the bit what makes one smart <laughs> so i'm just gonna relax a little bit there are you ready for this you're gonna count me in now if you watch this little window you'll see it uh, administering the actual drug itself so count me in three two one press oh yeah bugger ah, go two clicks <laughs> leave it for five seconds <laughs> and then pull it out that's it and if you you look on there that's gone the same as the other one it's administered it <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> well. <laughs> ouch. <laughs> so, I've got to say, ouch. so all you do once once you've done it then you replace the cap bosch and once you're done you just take the sharp spin and pop it in the sharp spin job's done the key now is to um, just to see what the reactions are like see if you get any adverse reactions to the uh, to it <laughs> got you going didn't it got you going got me going as well <laughs> so so what you do is you you just monitor yourself for the next sort of 20 minutes just to make sure that you're okay you're not having any weird sensations you're not you're not feeling nauseous you're not feeling feeling sick or anything like that that you're just normal now with this drug what you have to do is um you can't give it the same place every time you have to move it around so basically there's eight places you can stick it you can stick it in your thighs you can stick it in your upper arms and you can stick it in four places um around about two inches away from your belly button i haven't got that far yet <laughs> that's the second one i've done so now i'm part of a clinical trial to see how this um this drug goes forward how it uh how i get better with it so next week i have to get a blood test um and they just and then they monitor it monitor it that way so if you are like me suffering from a rheumatoid arthritis and you call it some pain um when you go and see your specialist your um your consultant about um, your treatment ask them about this new this new drug Luf, uh, your fluma <laughs> so it's, it's spelled uh, y-u-f-l-y-m-a your fluma i think that's how you pronounce it or the actual um what's the name of it is ad al u lim u nab ab <laughs> So you can pronounce that better than me. <laughs> it's beyond my comprehension, I'm afraid. So that's the new drug that I'm on. It's uh, given with an EpiPen. It's it smarts a little tiny bit because it's a boom. It, it fires a needle into you. <laughs> and then squirts this stuff in it's a, you see the, the, the plunger going down as it's pushing this stuff into you but hopefully um, it's going to take a, a couple of months for it to properly take effect and what, that, what I'm hoping that this drug does it reduces the inflammation and they can't guarantee it will take any pain away but I guess with with 
the inflammation in the joints going, then I should get less pain. That's what I'm hoping for. Now, if you've uh, got any questions, <laughs> just ask. Ping me. Um, if you're getting this on the catch-up, obviously, <laughs> you've missed the live. But it's all there in 4K. <laughs> so, so you can see all the gory details all in a one But for me, hopefully this drug's going to be... Uh, a miracle worker um it's it's miserable it really is miserable having rheumatoid arthritis there's days i can't even get out of bed i'm in so much bloody agony with it and my body's seized up lockdown was a nightmare absolute nightmare where i couldn't get out and do anything um and, and sedentary most of the time it was a real struggle and my body properly seized up. That's the reason, the main reason we sold the boat. Is because I couldn't even get to the boat, let alone get on it. Um, I was really struggling. So we took the command decision to sell the boat. Um, and then I went through, uh, I've been now 18 months. 18 months of getting um, massage therapy, which has eased off a lot of the, the problems that I had. And with the, 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 the current leflunamide drug, that's helped as well. But if you want some more information about it, please get in touch. Um, and I can tell you how it's going. I'll give you an update in a few months' time on, uh, and maybe do another one when I'm really used to getting needles stuck in me. <laughs> So there you go. That's um, Lefruma. Uh, it's a new drug. I'm going to be taking part in this clinical trial. Um, and I'll get monitored fairly regularly. Um, I have regular blood tests anyway. All well and good. So, until... Um, I come live from the old Hill Manor <laughs> again. Um, I've got some stuff coming up this week. I'm, I'm actually going out doing some filming uh, interviews for Hornet Service Sailing Club's 60th. So it's their 60th birthday. Uh, and I'm interviewing some club members. So it's going to be happening Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, um, I've got a, an appointment at a hospital with the um orthopedic surgeon uh, to have a look at my hip to see whether that's anywhere near wanting replacement plagues me at the moment and then after that i'm going to test ride the new royal enfield himalayan 450 hopefully by then i'll have a a clear idea of where my royal enfield Himalayan 450 is going to arrive. So hopefully we'll have it in the next week or so. And then I'll do a proper job. <laughs> See, the thing, never give up. I could quite easily just sit in a chair all day and not do anything and just waste away. But that's not me. Even through all the pain and everything that I, I, I go through and the, the, the struggles I have, I just push myself. And I think that's something you have to do. You just have to get off your bum and, and push yourself to do your best. Not to break. Or if you do break, then you just back off a bit, ease up, pop a few more pills and get out and get on with it. I mean, life's too short to, to not get on with it. Anyway, I've rattled on for too long. As you can see, um, the, the adverse effect it's had on me is I'm going to verbal diarrhoea. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm feeling okay. Um, I'm not feeling ad any adverse effects, so I'll give it a few minutes. And now I shall go and have my dinner. 
So from the library at the old Hill Manor, until I pop up again, thank you one and all for uh, indulging in me. Hopefully that's given you a little bit of information about what uh, rheumatoid arthritis is about and some of the current treatments that there are out there for it. So until the next one, give it some of that. <laughs> TTFN. Ta-da for now.